talking about all the things that you were talking about before with that my question is what can we do to get more involved in the association okay well there are several ways to get involved with the association i think the first thing is just becoming more aware of what we do which hopefully this has helped for a lot of people and i always try to tell people to develop their own story because everybody has a very important story that their life is a, their own very important story and for most people that we work with, that includes working with an individual with Down syndrome and getting to know uh, how Down syndrome has impacted their life. And I think if everybody has that story and can share it, that's the most effective way. Because you're right, I can tell you what our mission statement is and all sorts of things like that, and it can be very dry and boring. But if I can go out and tell somebody about my friend Megan and what it's like to work with her in the office every day, or what it's like to go meet with a new parent who just had a child with Down syndrome, people are going to understand that much more. So I think developing a story is extremely important. And then the last thing would be to volunteer. We have a lot of events. Uh, we have work, whether through our board or through other groups, to organize uh, activities and, and programs here at the association. And I hope everybody will take an opportunity to volunteer. Are you ready for another question now? Yes, I am. Okay. We've seen several articles lately in the news, and there's a video here in St. Louis on the news about a good friend of ours um, who has Down syndrome who got married. And I want to know what you think about people with Down syndrome who get married and live together. What do you, what do you think about them taking that step in life? You know, it's only, you know, it's only, it doesn't matter who you are or, you know, you can have Down syndrome. You can be just who you are, you know? It doesn't matter if you have Down syndrome or not. You know, we have the right to vote. We have the right to freedom of speech. So if you don't like something, just shut your mouth. But with that, you still have the right of freedom of speech. You know, we have the right, just like everyone, to make choices and decisions like everybody and anybody else. So with that is all what it is and like I said, it comes from within. And if you love a person, you know, and if that person loves you back, you know, and it was strong enough to get married, get married. And that next step really is actually between the two of you and what is actually good for you. Great answer. Thank you for saying that. I think it's your turn. Next question. Um, what she is speaking of all these questions, to wrap this up with my questions is that what do you see in the future, especially in the Down Syndrome Association? Sure, the future of the Down Syndrome Association. We have uh, a lot of good programs already that we're very, very proud of. And, and I hope everybody again takes an opportunity to get to know that. But I think we can do two things. I think one, the programs we have, we can make much, much larger. So I think we have programs right now for teachers or for parents to come in and learn or conferences or things like that. And, and we think that we can reach a lot more people with those platforms or those programs than we do right now. So I hope we'll be able to reach more people and I think that's number one because we want as many people as possible to know about us and what we do and to know about you and, and friends that you have. The other thing um, that I, I think we want people to really know is that we want to do more to have programs and things for individuals with Down syndrome because in the questions you've already asked I've described a lot of things that we do for teachers or for doctors or for parents and we're really focused we want to do more for individuals with Down syndrome and so I hope you'll see that, that we'll have some more programs and things that, that you can do specifically and, and your friends or just anyone who's growing up with Down syndrome will have that opportunity. Yeah I just said I can wrap this up to the fact of oh I have one more question what do you mean about more? What do I mean about more? Yes. More what? 
Um, in that question that you just asked me. Okay. Define more. Define more. All right. So more in terms of more people, uh, we hope that if we have a conference or a training, that one more people might come to that training and be there in person. But we're hoping that we'll be able to. Um, either through our website or on YouTube uh, or somewhere that we'll be able to post information so that more people can have access to it. So we want to be more accessible for people. Uh, when I say more programming, uh, I want to make sure that we want to be able to offer a few more things throughout the year and a few more opportunities for individuals with Down syndrome to learn or to be active or to have fun with us so that it's just, it just gives them a little more, whether it's a social uh, a calendar for their social life or it's something for their education uh, or so that they have more, more tools and, and more skills for later in life. That's what we mean by more. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you again for all the people that is watching my video blog. This is Megan and this is my video blog and I'm signing off.